Rose, Major League Baseball's all-time hit king and the Cincinnati Reds player who had a lot of hustle when he played has passed at the age of 83. Rose was one of baseball's greats. Yeah, part of the big red machine, but his play could not outpace his gambling transgressions, and that's what kept him out of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Kurt Gregory with NBC has more on the life and the legacy of Pete Rose. Peter Edward Rose was born on April 14, 1941 in Cincinnati, Ohio, the same city he'd later take by storm as Charlie Hustle. The son of a former boxer and semi-pro football player, Rose signed with his hometown Reds out of high school in 1963. As a member of the juggernaut known as the Big Red Machine, Rose won back-to-back -back titles with Cincinnati in 1975 and 1976. A lifetime 303 hitter, he belted 200 hits, a major league record 10 times. 2-1 pitch from Shao. And on September 11th, 1985, Pete Rose broke Ty Cobb's all-time hits record of 4,191. He would finish his career with 4,256. Along with hits, Rose owns more major league records than any other player in history, including at bats, singles, and games played. After retiring in 1986, Rose went on to manage the Reds, but his days in the majors were numbered. In August of 1989, Commissioner Bart Giamatti handed Pete Rose a lifetime ban from baseball after an investigation revealed his betting on games while managing the Reds. Then in 1990, less than a year after the ban, Rose was sentenced to five months in a federal prison for tax evasion. Still denying the betting charges, Rose was denied reinstatement in 1992 and 1997. There are some things that are so wrong that we don't rightly forgive them. And this is a very wrong thing. In his 2004 autobiography, My Prison Without Bars, Rose would finally admit to gambling on baseball while managing the Reds, but said it was never against his own team. Did you bet on baseball? <sighs> yes, I did, and uh, that was my mistake. Contrition and admission fell short again for Rose in 2015, when Commissioner Rob Manfred denied his appeal, citing Rose's lack of change and acceptance of wrongdoing. I want baseball and Pete Rose to be friends. That's all I want for him. So I can say uh, I'm not an outsider looking in. In 2016, a day many thought would never come. Election to the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and the retiring of Rose's number 14. Pushing limits on the field made him a Hall of Famer. Pushing them off the field kept him out. Kurt Gregory, NBC News.